How can you earn and maintain deep respect in your relationships, especially from women? It's no secret that feeling respected and valued is fundamental to any successful relationship, but achieving this can sometimes be a real challenge. Whether you've felt overlooked or undervalued, or just want to strengthen the respect in your current relationship, you're in the right place. In this video, we're going to discuss 12 essential strategies that go beyond the basics. These aren't just quick tips, they're real, practical steps grounded in the principles of Stoicism that can help you build lasting respect. From standing up for yourself in a balanced way to showing true independence, we'll cover all the bases to ensure you not only gain a woman's respect, but also keep it. So, if you've ever wondered why respect can seem so elusive in relationships and what you can do to turn that around, stick around. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how to enhance your personal interactions, not just by demanding respect, but by commanding it through your actions and character. Before we get started, please consider showing your support by hitting the like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, I encourage you to do so to access a broad spectrum of valuable content designed to enhance your overall growth. Now, let's begin. Number one, respect yourself. Stoicism emphasizes on understanding oneself, mastering one's emotions, and upholding personal dignity. Self-respect starts with how you view and treat yourself. If you find yourself lacking in this area, it's going to be quite challenging to expect others to fill that void, especially women in the context of relationships. Self-respect is crucial because it establishes the standards for how others should treat you. It's like setting the baseline in a relationship. Think about it. If you don't value yourself, how can you expect someone else to see the value in you? This goes beyond simple interactions. In the context of a relationship, if a woman perceives that you don't care enough about your own well-being, her respect for you is likely to diminish. Let's take a closer look at this with some practical examples. Consider a man who consistently neglects his health, dodges responsibilities, or allows himself to be treated poorly by others. His actions demonstrate a lack of self-respect. Now, think about a man who is diligent about his health, meets his responsibilities head-on, and stands firm on his boundaries. This man clearly shows he respects himself, and as a result, he commands respect from others, including women. Self-respect is not just about external actions. It's deeply rooted in self-knowledge and self-acceptance. It's about being comfortable in your own skin, knowing your strengths and weaknesses, and working proactively to be the best version of yourself. When you respect yourself, it's like you're saying to the world, I am worthy of respect. And this message is powerful. So take a moment and reflect. When you look in the mirror, do you feel good about the person looking back at you? Do you see someone who is doing their part, striving for a bright future and spreading good vibes? If not, it could be a sign to pause, rethink, and start making some tweaks. Begin with brutal honesty in your self-evaluation. Identify areas where you fall short and make a committed effort to improve. It could be working on your physical fitness, taking up new educational opportunities, or simply learning how to say no when something doesn't align with your values. Each step you take toward enhancing your self-respect not only shapes your character, but also sets a clear standard for how others, particularly women, will perceive and respect you. It all starts with the man in the mirror. Make the necessary changes, foster a strong sense of self, and watch as the respect you receive from others transforms. Number two, be emotionally strong. Picture this. You're out at a restaurant or enjoying a sunny day in the park when something unexpectedly goes wrong. Maybe the service is slow or someone bumps into you. Now you have a choice. 
If you let your temper flare, not only does it spoil the moment, but it can also make the people around you, especially the women in your life, feel uncomfortable or even intimidated. Reacting with anger or annoyance can create tension and fear, which are the exact opposites of the respect and safety you want to foster in your relationships. In the realm of Stoicism, there's a lot of emphasis on mastering our reactions and managing our emotions. This isn't just about keeping a stiff upper lip. It's about understanding, controlling, and channeling our feelings in ways that are constructive rather than destructive. Being emotionally strong, according to Stoic principles, means more than just bottling up your feelings. It's about facing those tough moments with a calm and composed demeanor. It's showing that no matter the challenge, you can handle it without letting your emotions get the best of you. This kind of strength is really about managing your emotions in a healthy way, recognizing them, understanding their origins, and deciding consciously not to be governed by them in the heat of the moment. Let's say you're in that slow restaurant. Instead of snapping at the server, you take a deep breath, recognize your irritation, and choose a more constructive response. Perhaps you calmly ask about the delay or decide to enjoy the extra time chatting with your companion. This response demonstrates to your partner that you're capable of handling inconvenience with grace and maturity. Emotional strength like this doesn't just make the immediate situation smoother. It builds a foundation of trust and respect in your relationship over time. It signals that you are reliable and stable, qualities that are deeply admired and respected. Women, just like all people, respect someone who can navigate the ups and downs of life without losing their balance. So, let's strive to develop this emotional strength. It's about being aware of our feelings and choosing our actions wisely, not being swayed by the heat of the moment. This is a core aspect of Stoicism and a powerful way to enhance respect and trust in any relationship. Number three, enhance your worth. Stoicism highlights the importance of bettering oneself and striving for goodness. It's all about becoming your finest self, not only to benefit yourself, but also to make a positive difference in others' lives. Think about the concept of increasing your value. This doesn't mean just improving your financial status or your position at work, though those can be components. It's about becoming a more well-rounded, knowledgeable, and competent person. Whether you're learning how to cook, taking up a new sport, improving your public speaking skills, or advancing your education, each step you take to improve yourself adds layers to your character. Imagine you start taking evening classes to get a degree in a field you're passionate about. As you share your experiences and what you've learned, the women in your life see you not just as ambitious, but as someone who is actively shaping their future. Or perhaps you commit to a fitness challenge, transforming not only your physique, but also demonstrating discipline and dedication. These actions speak volumes about your drive and your commitment to living a well-balanced life. Another aspect might be learning skills that enhance your emotional intelligence, like mindfulness or communication workshops. These skills make you a better listener and a more empathetic partner, friend, or colleague. Women respect and are drawn to men who show they can engage deeply, understand emotions, and communicate effectively. It's about showing that you value growth in all its forms and that you're dedicated to evolving not just externally, but internally as well. Increasing your value also involves stepping outside of your comfort zone. It's about challenging yourself to do things that might scare you a bit, like traveling solo to a foreign country, which can broaden your perspectives and enhance your adaptability and problem-solving skills. Each new experience enriches your character, making you a more interesting and engaging person to be around. Stoicism emphasizes that respect and virtue are achieved through wisdom justice, courage, and moderation. 
by enhancing your value, you embody these ideals, demonstrating that you're not only capable of achieving goals, but also committed to living a principled life. This consistent effort to better yourself makes you a beacon of stability and reliability. So ask yourself, what can you start today that will help you grow? What skill or knowledge would enrich your life and make you a person of higher value? Remember, it's not just about the respect you gain from others, but also about the respect you earn for yourself by becoming the best version of you. Number four, always be honest. In the philosophy of Stoicism, we often talk about virtues that can guide us to a more meaningful life, and honesty sits right at the heart of these. It's absolutely crucial whether we're talking about friendships, family bonds, or romantic connections. Let's face it, being honest isn't always the easiest path. Sometimes, the truth can be a bit tough to swallow. But here's the thing. Honesty is always better than the alternative. Imagine this. You mess up somehow. Maybe you forgot an important date, or you said something without thinking it through. Now you might feel the urge to cover it up or spin a little white lie. It seems simpler, right? But if your lady, or anyone important in your life, finds out the truth from someone else it's gonna hurt, and worse, it can chip away at her trust and respect for you. Now let's say you choose a different path. You own up to your mistake. You say, hey, I messed up and I'm really sorry. This does a couple of things. First, it shows you're a person of integrity. You're willing to stand by your actions and face the consequences. That's a big deal in Stoicism. It's about aligning your actions with your values, no matter the discomfort. Secondly, it builds trust. When you're open and transparent, it tells her that you value honesty, that you respect her enough to be truthful. And when trust grows, so does respect. This approach doesn't just apply to mistakes, though. It's about being genuine in your daily interactions. Say you're feeling overwhelmed or stressed. By being honest about what you're going through, you open up the possibility for genuine support and connection. It's about letting your real self be seen and dealing with life head on, just as the Stoics advocate. In essence, when you live truthfully, you're not just respecting others, you're also respecting yourself. You're living in harmony with Stoic principles, which emphasize virtue and character over easy outs or superficial gains. And believe me, people, especially women, can sense when someone is genuine and honest and they respect that deeply. So let's strive to be straightforward, face our truths bravely, and foster relationships built on trust and respect. Remember, a life of virtue is a life well lived. If you're still here and enjoying the video, please take a moment to pause and leave a yes in the comments below to show your commitment to becoming a version of yourself deserving of respect. Let's continue together on this journey. Number five, define clear boundaries. Stoicism stresses the significance of knowing oneself and one's rational capability to establish and adhere to boundaries, which is fundamental in forming any healthy relationship. Setting clear boundaries is not about putting up walls between you and someone else. It's about knowing yourself deeply, understanding what you are comfortable with, and recognizing what you value. It's about being clear on what you can tolerate and what you cannot which not only projects self-respect and confidence, but also shows a strong sense of self-awareness, qualities that are inherently attractive and respected. Let's put this into context with some everyday scenarios. Imagine you're someone who values quiet evenings to decompress after work, but you're dating someone who enjoys social outings and wants to go out almost every night. Here, setting a boundary might look like having a frank discussion about your need for quieter evenings. This isn't just about asserting your preferences, it's about creating space in your relationship for both people to feel understood 
and respected. Or consider a situation where you prefer to handle finances in a certain way, while your partner has a more laid-back approach. Setting clear financial boundaries and discussing expectations can prevent misunderstandings and conflicts down the line. It's about respect and compromise, finding a balance that honors both of your values and limits. A man who sets clear boundaries is often respected more because he communicates a strong sense of identity. Women, and indeed all people, tend to respect those who know themselves well enough to articulate their needs and limits clearly. This clarity shows that you are not only secure in who you are, but also that you respect yourself enough to protect your well-being. It's a strong declaration that you value your peace, your values, and your life's direction. Moreover, when you set boundaries, you're also showing that you respect the other person's boundaries. This reciprocal respect is vital for any healthy relationship. It tells the other person that you acknowledge their right to their preferences, needs, and space. This creates a mutual understanding that can deepen the connection between you. From a stoic viewpoint, setting boundaries is about more than personal preferences. It's about aligning your actions with your rational judgments and your moral values. It requires the virtues of wisdom to know what is right for you, justice to understand and uphold fairness in your relationships, and courage to assert your boundaries even when it might be uncomfortable. So, think about the areas in your life and relationships where boundaries could be more clearly communicated. How might clarifying these boundaries improve your relationships? Are there areas where you might be compromising too much on your own comfort and values? Reflect on these questions and consider how setting clear, rational boundaries could lead not only to greater respect from the women in your life, but also to a more fulfilling and virtuous life. Number six, be independent. In any relationship, but especially in the eyes of women, being independent is incredibly attractive. It signifies that you are not just a passenger in your life, but rather the driver. When you make your own decisions and think for yourself, rather than just floating along with the crowd, it showcases maturity and capability. This is especially important in partnerships because it demonstrates that you are committed to actively shaping your life and the shared life with your partner. Men are often viewed as pillars of strength, especially during challenging times. If you're constantly complaining or letting frustration get the best of you in a less than mature manner, it can quickly become a turnoff. It's absolutely fine to share your worries and frustrations with your partner. After all, being stoic doesn't mean being emotionless. The key, however, lies in how you handle these emotions. Suppose you're facing a tough situation at work. Maybe a project is at risk of failing or you're under a lot of pressure. You might feel the urge to vent extensively at home, which is natural. However, stoicism teaches us the virtue of resilience. Instead of only venting, you also focus on seeking solutions and maintaining your composure. This balanced approach, where you are open about your feelings yet proactive in dealing with challenges, not only helps you cope effectively, but also shows your partner that you are strong and dependable. Being independent also means being able to stand alone when necessary. It's about not relying excessively on others for your happiness or decision-making. For example, you might decide to spend some time pursuing a personal hobby or learning a new skill on your own. This shows that you have your own interests and passions, which not only makes you more interesting and engaging, but also demonstrates your commitment to self-improvement. This balance of independence and emotional openness is highly respected in relationships. Women, just like all individuals, appreciate a partner who can manage their emotions intelligently, tackle problems with a cool head, and remain stable and reliable, no matter what life throws their way. Now, take a moment to consider how you can nurture your independence. Are there decisions you've been delaying? 
Are there areas in your life where you could be more proactive? Pondering these questions can aid in fortifying your independence, which is not only a mark of maturity and competence, but also a core stoic virtue. Let's exchange some stories or obstacles where independence has facilitated our growth and strengthened our relationships. What actions are you undertaking today to bolster your independence? Number seven, be a man. In Stoic philosophy, virtues such as courage, wisdom, and discipline are universal and apply to all individuals, regardless of gender. However, in the context of relationships, these qualities can often manifest as a confident and assertive presence that many find attractive and reassuring. This isn't about physical strength or dominance, but rather about being sure of who you are and what you stand for. Let's consider what it means to be a man in everyday situations. For example, being decisive when planning a date or a family outing shows confidence, which can be very appealing. It's not about making all the decisions on your own, but rather about contributing actively and thoughtfully to the relationship. This could look like taking the initiative to solve problems when they arise, or stepping up to make plans when you both have busy schedules. Assertiveness is another key aspect. This doesn't mean being aggressive or overbearing. Rather, it's about clearly expressing your needs and desires in the relationship while also respecting her needs and boundaries. For instance, if you prefer spending quiet evenings at home during the work week to recharge, it's important to communicate this preference clearly and respectfully. This shows that you know yourself and are capable of setting healthy boundaries, which can help prevent misunderstandings and foster mutual respect. Being a man in this sense also involves a certain level of emotional resilience, another stoic virtue. It means handling challenges and setbacks with a calm and composed attitude, not being swayed by every twist and turn of fate. This resilience can be particularly reassuring in a relationship, as it suggests a capacity to support and maintain stability even during difficult times. The idea here is to strike a balance where your strength complements her femininity in ways that enhance the relationship, creating a dynamic that is harmonious and mutually respectful. It's about each partner bringing their strengths to the table, creating a partnership where both can thrive. In essence, when we talk about being a man in the context of Stoic philosophy and relationships, it's about embodying virtues that promote personal integrity and strength. This approach can lead to relationships where both partners feel valued, understood, and respected. Number eight, don't be clingy. In relationships, maintaining a healthy balance between closeness and personal space is crucial. And Stoicism, with its focus on self-sufficiency and rational independence, provides valuable insights into achieving this balance. Being overly clingy can indeed be a major turnoff. It's natural to want to spend a lot of time with your partner, especially in the flush of new love. However, constantly hovering around, needing to be in her presence all the time, can quickly move from being endearing to overwhelming. Initially, your attentiveness might seem sweet, but it can soon feel suffocating. Remember, just because she's chosen to be with you doesn't mean she's handed over her independence or her social life. Everyone values a bit of personal space. It's essential for our mental well-being and personal growth. Stoicism teaches us the importance of being self-aware and respecting not just our own space and needs, but also those of others. This philosophy encourages us to consider our actions and their impacts on our relationships. Let's say your partner is interested in painting, a hobby she loves to pursue in her quiet time. If you insist on constantly being around, even during times she has set aside for her painting, it might make her feel like she can't enjoy her own interests without feeling guilty or distracted. 
This can lead to frustration and resentment. Instead, what if you took that time to engage in your own hobbies or interests? This approach shows that you are secure and independent, qualities that are inherently attractive and respect-inducing. By giving her space to enjoy her interests and similarly enjoying your own, you demonstrate that you respect her as an individual outside of the relationship. This not only makes your time together more special and fulfilling, but also shows that you both can thrive independently. Being less accessible at times isn't about playing games or making yourself hard to get. It's about showing that you have a rich, fulfilling life of your own. This independence can make you more intriguing and appealing to your partner, enhancing the respect she has for you. Remember, a healthy relationship is about complementing each other's lives, not consuming them. It's about being two wholes coming together, not two halves making a whole. This perspective aligns beautifully with Stoic thought, which values the idea of being complete in oneself. So, reflect on how you can apply this balance in your relationship. Are there areas where you might be leaning too heavily on your partner for your happiness or entertainment? How can you cultivate your own interests and passions further? Sharing how you navigate these challenges or successes can help all of us learn and grow together. What steps are you taking to maintain a healthy balance in your relationships? Let's discuss and inspire each other to build stronger, more respectful partnerships. Number nine, get a decent job. It's not about landing the highest paying or most glamorous job. The real value lies in showing that you are willing to contribute, to put in the effort and to be responsible, regardless of the nature of your work. This is about demonstrating a willingness to engage in meaningful labor, which reflects a strong character and a mature outlook on life. Consider this scenario. Perhaps you're between jobs, or in a job that doesn't exactly make headlines for its prestige or paycheck. Some men worry that this might make them less respectable, particularly in the eyes of women. However, it's crucial to understand that genuine respect doesn't hinge on the status of your job, but on the effort and integrity you show in your role. Women, and indeed, most people, value someone who shows up, gives their best, and remains steadfast in their duties, even when the going gets tough. Visualize you're working in a role that isn't your dream job. While it might not be where you envisioned yourself, the dedication you show in turning up every day, solving problems, and contributing to your community's functioning speaks volumes about your character. It shows you're not above any task and that you value hard work. This approach to work aligns with the stoic idea that one's value comes from their virtues not their circumstances. Stoicism advises us that external conditions, whether you're in a high-flying career or a modest job, don't define your worth. What matters is how you handle these conditions with virtue. Being financially responsible and independent is another aspect deeply connected to both stoicism and respect in relationships. Financial independence is not merely about making money, it's about managing it wisely, living within your means, and preparing for the future. This responsibility shows foresight and self-control, qualities that make you a stable and reliable partner. Remember that your effort to find and maintain a job is itself a commendable and respectable endeavor. If you're in a job that isn't your ultimate goal, consider how you can bring excellence to your current role. Every job can be a reflection of your character and a practice in Stoic virtues, like diligence and perseverance. Number 10. Be true to your word. Being true to your word is straightforward yet powerful. It means that when you say you're going to do something, be it attending a friend's event, calling someone when you promised, or following through on a commitment, you do it. This kind of reliability is highly valued, 
especially by women, because it's a clear indicator of trustworthiness and integrity. Think about how simple actions can have profound impacts. Let's say you promise your partner you'll be there to support her at an important presentation. Showing up as you said, you would not only strengthens her trust in you, but also demonstrates your support for her achievements. Or consider a smaller promise, like agreeing to handle a particular chore at home. Following through shows that you respect your shared space and your partner's comfort, which does wonders for mutual respect. Failure to keep such promises, even small ones, can chip away at the trust you've built. For instance, consistently promising to make dinner or attend couples' activities, then not following through, might seem minor in isolation. But over time, these broken promises accumulate. They can lead to doubts about your reliability and overall integrity. From a stoic perspective, keeping your word is about aligning your actions with your moral values. Stoics believe in living a life of virtue and see integrity as a crucial component. They argue that we should aim to control our actions to reflect our inner ethical commitments. And when we say we will do something, it should be almost as binding as if it were written in stone. This philosophy underscores the idea that being a man of your word is not about grand gestures, but consistent, everyday actions that align with your promises. It's about showing that you can be counted on, which makes you a pillar of strength in your relationships. As you go about your daily life, reflect on how closely your actions mirror your commitments. Are there areas where you can improve? How does being reliable in small things contribute to your overall sense of self-respect and the respect others have for you? Being true to your word is a testament to your character. It shows that you are someone who respects others' time and emotions, and that you value the trust placed in you. These are attractive qualities that can deeply enhance the respect women, and indeed all people, have for you. Number 11. Stand up for yourself. In any relationship, it's essential to assert yourself if you feel you're being treated unfairly or disrespected. This doesn't mean picking fights or responding with hostility. Instead, it's about addressing issues respectfully and constructively. Suppose your partner acts in a way that feels unfair or hurtful. Maybe she dismisses your opinions or speaks harshly. It's important to voice your concerns calmly and clearly. By doing so, you're not just standing up for your rights. You're also demonstrating that you value yourself and the health of the relationship enough to address issues that might undermine it. Stoicism reminds us that our reactions should be measured, rational, and guided by virtue. The Stoics believed in living in harmony with reason and maintaining one's tranquility by managing one's responses to external events. When you respond to disrespect or unfair treatment, not with reactive anger, but with thoughtful assertiveness, you embody these stoic ideals. You show that you are in control of your emotions and are guided by reason, a quality that commands respect. Standing up for yourself also means defending the integrity of your relationship from external negativity. There will always be people who may criticize or speak negatively about your relationship choices. While it's true that you can't please everyone, ignoring negative comments isn't always the best approach, especially when these are unfounded and harmful. Defending your relationship when necessary shows that you are committed and deeply invested in its longevity and health. For example, if someone in your social circle questions your commitment to your partner or the validity of your feelings based on unfounded assumptions, it's appropriate to correct them. Doing so respectfully and firmly sends a clear message about what you stand for and the respect you demand for yourself and your relationship. This kind of behavior, standing up for yourself and your partner, shows that you care deeply about the relationship and are willing to protect it. 
This is highly attractive and respectable, particularly in the eyes of women who value strength, integrity, and the ability to handle conflict with maturity. So, think about the ways you can practice this in your own life. Are there situations where you might have remained silent when you should have spoken up? Reflect on how standing up for yourself with dignity and respect can not only strengthen your own self-esteem, but also the respect you receive from others. Number 12. Respect her. Let's dive deep into the most fundamental principle that holds any relationship together. Mutual respect. This concept is not just central to building and maintaining a healthy relationship, but is also a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, which teaches us the importance of treating others with dignity and fairness. Respecting your partner is crucial. It's about recognizing her as a whole person, an individual with her own opinions, beliefs, habits, interests, friends, family, and feelings. This respect should not only be evident when you are together, but also in her absence. It's simple. To be respected, you must show respect. This reciprocal nature of respect is what strengthens the bonds between people. Let's talk about practical ways to show respect in everyday interactions. For instance, consider her opinions during discussions, whether they're about choosing a movie to watch or making significant life decisions. Listening actively, acknowledging her viewpoints, and engaging in meaningful conversations without dismissing her ideas are all ways of showing respect. Respect also extends to her personal space and interests, encouraging her to spend time on her hobbies or with her friends and showing interest in these aspects of her life without intruding demonstrates that you value her as an individual outside of your relationship. This is crucial because it shows that you recognize her independence and unique personality. Another important aspect is how you speak of her to others. Stoicism teaches us the virtue of integrity, meaning your actions should align with your values regardless of the situation. Speaking about her with kindness and respect, even when she's not present, not only reflects your character, but also builds trust in your relationship. Negative comments or disrespectful jokes about her in social settings undermine her and reflect poorly on your character as well. For example, if you're out with friends and someone makes a joke at her expense, choosing to not participate or subtly shifting the conversation away shows respect for her dignity. This action might seem small, but it has a significant impact on how she views your respect for her and, consequently, how she respects you. Respecting your partner also means valuing her emotional world. When she shares her feelings, whether she's had a bad day at work or she's excited about something new, Responding with empathy and interest shows that you value what she experiences and feels. In essence, respecting your partner is about treating her with the same level of consideration and dignity that you would expect for yourself. It's about fostering an environment where both of you can thrive, supported by mutual respect and understanding. This is not only the foundation of a strong relationship, but also a reflection of living a virtuous, stoic life. As we wrap up our exploration into getting and maintaining respect in your relationships, especially from women, remember, fostering mutual respect, love, and attraction isn't just a one-time effort. It's a continuous process that can significantly enhance the understanding and bond between you and your partner. When both partners genuinely respect each other, the relationship is built on a solid foundation, ready to withstand the tests of time and thrive. If you've made it this far and feel equipped with the knowledge we've shared today, drop a sure in the comments below to let me know you're taking these lessons to heart. Your feedback is invaluable and helps shape our content to better serve you. Don't forget, for more interesting topics like this, check out the recommended video on your screen right now. Thank you so much for watching, 
and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss out on new insights and strategies that can transform your relationships. See you in the next video.